my interaction or my basic um, description of our conversation today is like hair agriculture. Uh, my basic, uh, my simple mindedness uh, simply in the, interprets trichology as hair farming. Martha, is that correct? In, in not so many words, but yes. it means the same because trichology is the speciality of hair and everything to do with hair. Speciality of hair yes. and everything to do with hair. Yeah. So this includes the scalp, the hair, the blood vessels, or blood vessels on the scalp, and everything to do with it. The blood vessels. Yes. So it's basically agriculture. Yes. Quavo, uh, in my simple mindedness again, mm -hmm. so blood vessels are somehow directly uh, connected to how your hair grows. Yes, connected to and the effect of blood vessels, how your blood supply is, is directly related to how your hair is healthy and how it grows fast. That's interesting. Yes. So that's basically, uh, then again in my simple mindedness, <laughs> Kipara is poor blood irrigation. No, 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 no. no. Kipara is totally different. Kipara is more of genes. You see how we are now into GMO stuff? Yes. Now, because that is genetically modified individual. As you come into this world, you are, you are, diff, you are your own gene. So the men, how they lose hair is genetically in their system. So it is not about the blood vessels. It's about how the person has been genetically wired. Oh, really? Yes. So, mm -hmm. okay. A lot to unpack from what you've just said. Yes. Let's start with, mm -hmm. do we have hair disabilities? Yes, we do, because hair is complex. Eh? Hair, for some, eh? because you see, when you're you don't really put mind to how your hair is grown. Yeah. But uh, hair is, is complex and different for everyone, because okay. how your hair grows and how my hair grows is totally different. Okay. And what affects someone might not really affect you on the other side of town. Or you could be siblings, and one sibling is affected by one thing, okay. and then the other person is not even affected by the same kind of hair, hair problem. Very good point. Yes. But still, confirmation is mm -hmm. we have hair, cap, hair, hair handicap. Yes, we do. So as a doctor, if I came to you, you can write me a note mm -hmm. that I have a hair problem so that <laughs> I can park in a handicapped parking lot. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that because no, no, without hair, we can still function. Without hair, you can't, yeah, because hair is, is a small part, but it's a major part because it adds to beauty. Assume how okay. devu. Yes. Assume how na eyebrows. You'd yes. look odd, but then you'd still be Dr. King or even Spani. No, I no, mean. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, we have people who don't have yeah. eyebrows. Yeah, there are people who don't have all hair. I mean, zote is mepote. You are hairless. Yes. Now that is, is, is another kind of hair loss called alopecia universalis. Very Meaning, controversial actually. Yeah. And recently, because alopecia came to the, to the yeah, world like, scene yeah. uh, from uh, the Oscars presentation yeah. here, Chris Rock. Mm. So, and, the, and the wife, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's that much of a big deal. Yeah, because you see, mostly women, we put some weight or major weight into how we look. Yes. And if part of how we look is our hair and we feel without it we feel a bit naked or less beautiful then it's a major part in our lives so uh the eyebrows like okay sorry i, I don't mean to trivialize this but we have yeah. people who have no eyebrows like naturally they just look like a fish as in a they're just like the wimpy hairs and there are solutions to that. Yes, there for are example solutions, yeah. le, let's say uh for eyebrows mm -hmm. i do um, i'm I'm very interested in getting to the part where you plant hair, yes. right? Yeah. But for eyebrows mm -hmm. um, and beard, yes. and this to the beardless gang, we, did, we, <laughs> we, we are doing this for you. Yeah, no can, or, can hair be planted in every body part? Yes, any body part. Hair can be taken from any body part and transplanted to any body part. So we do eyebrow transplants. Yes, you can do beard transplants. In Japan, they do pubic transplant. They prefer hair. So, yes, you can do any kind of transplant. Pubic transplant? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. mixing hairs. Yes. Let's start with, again, a lot to unpack. Yeah. You can remove hair from your pubic hair and mm -hmm. plant it in your head. Yes, or you can remove hair from the head to the pubic area. In the reverse, yeah, ni mesema ya kwanza. Eh. Does it affect your thinking? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It just... It's a different kind of texture, even the beard, but you can obviously tell. Different texture, but same hair. And your thinking is 
just as good. What would inform the uh, decision to get hair from uh, your pubic hair mm -hmm. to plant it in your head? Because you want soft hair? Yeah. No, 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 no. When you now move from the general area where we get hair, where we get hair is the back part of the, of the head to the sides. Eh? Yes. Have you ever noticed there are some men who've lost the whole top part? Yes. Up to the six o'clock, eh? Yes, yes, yes. Now, That's when, a polite name, Yakipara. Yakipara. Okay. Kipara. Yeah. So for the people who don't have enough hair on the scalp, then we start looking into other places for donor hairs. So this includes the beards, chest hairs, armpit hairs, pubic hairs. Mother, you are shocking me. Yeah. We have hair donors. Yes. So we have uh -huh. someone who can come for a beard uh -huh. which has been donated from someone's pubic hair. No, 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 no. You have to donate your own hair. So or you donate you, yes, your own hair. Yes. So if you've lost everything here, that means our work is twice as hard. So it means we have to look for follicles enough to fill this area and not deplete this area. So we have to get hair. Sometimes we get from the beard. Uh, uh, the beard is our go-to area. Now, if your beard isn't sufficient, then now we can discuss other areas. Okay, let's discuss this procedure for a minute. Yeah. Like the hair mm -hmm. that is gotten from a donor, for example, yeah. it's not shaving. Mm -hmm. How are you getting it we use, for planting? We use specialized tools. And I must be clear here. You donate your own hair. No one else gives you your hair. Because you see, when you get any body part or any organ from someone else, and the hair is an organ. Yeah. So if you get any organ from someone else, it means you'll be on medications to support that, to prevent the body rejecting. from rejecting it. Yes. So it's unnecessary for hair. So that's why we say you donate your own hair. So yes, when you donate your own hair, you only get from this one person. Where okay. to so okay. it's uprooted from mm -hmm. the root. Yes. So we have cases of, uh, and you can demys demystify this, yes. the weaves that women love mm -hmm. are, allegedly, uh, are allegedly from mm -hmm. uh, people who've been shaved in India. Yes. In fact, what is that people get mugged of yeah. their hair, oh, like yeah. you get hey, shaved and then, weaves, yeah? yes, 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 mm -hmm. and then they sell it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is hair that has not been up uprooted from the root. Yes. Yes. These are hair is hair that has been shaved. Yes. Is there a way that mm -hmm. it can be connected to your hair and then it grows together? By glue, eh? Because it's different. When we harvest hairs, we go into your skin. We don't take it from the level area. We use specialized tools to dig into the root. And the root you have to note is within the blood capillaries, within the blood system. So we don't take it on skin level. We have to use tools that dig into your skin get into it's a bloody business i mean we just don't go and then shave and then yeah, yeah so we use tools dig use forceps to pull out the hairs and then now plant those roots into your system now the difference of this and weeds eh? a woman goes into a salon sits on a seat and then either gets cornrows and then it's stitched on it yes. or gets these particular hairs glued to the roots this root eh? So when okay. it grows, it grows with the hair. But then yes. it's not in the system. It's if not, you shave, it's gone. Uh, if you shave, you need to hang it. And, okay. Mm. And um, sounds like a very, very intensive procedure. Yeah. Uh, to mean that you're not harvesting like uh, bundles. Yes. You're harvesting one hair yes. at a time. Yes. So this means mm -hmm. uh, are clients charged based on uh, the nitwaji mm -hmm. are, are, ch are clients follicle. charged per follicle mm -hmm. or per head mm -hmm. or, or for people with big heads per mm -hmm. square feet? 